How's it going everyone? This is Yixlarb and welcome back to my Sonic Adventure 2 walkthrough. In the last episode, we continued the hero story, escaped Prison Island, fought Shadow, found more pieces of the Master Emerald, and found a total of four upgrades for our characters, including two somewhat optional ones. This time, we delve more into the story. Citizens of Earth, lend me your ears and listen to me, America. My name is Dr. Eggman, the world's greatest scientist, and soon to be the world's greatest ruler. Now witness the beginning of the greatest empire of all time. <laughs> Yeah, uh, seems like things got serious out of nowhere. Are we still playing a Sonic game where the fate of the world is actually <laughs> uh, within the palm of our hands? I mean, I know, in Sonic Adventure 1 we had Chaos, who was just an insanely powerful being who could have maybe destroyed the world, but it seemed like he was just more concerned with destroying Station Square and nothing else. Here we've got the actual world. We saw that in the Sonic universe there are other countries, there are other people who exist. And uh, the stakes have never been so high. Anyway, we've got our next optional upgrade, our first one for Tails, the Booster. This pretty much just allows you to hover when you jump. So you jump, and you move, press the A button again. It's uh, it's really useful. E you know, sure it is technically required, like to get across gaps like this. But it's more. Oh, I'm not sure I didn't need to do that. But it is just nicer for platforming because sometimes uh, these mechs can come down really quickly, and uh, it's just nice to be able to slow your descent and be a little more precise with your movements. Anyway, here, part of the gimmick of this level is that there are packs of dynamite uh, lined up on and near these hexagonal cylinders. I uh, don't know exactly what these are for. Obviously, in the game, we know what they're for, but what possible purpose could they have in real life? I don't know. Um, aside from helping Tails get along. Ah, uh, wow. Actually, you can read that description. I've never tried this before. What does it say? Date of birth, none. Hair, fox, brown? I can't really... The TV's a little far away from me, but that's really interesting. And uh, there, a million is what the reward is for catching this. Is that a million dollars or is that a million pennies? Tell us. Now here's another great thing. If you have the booster, you can skip sections like this. Um, for some reason, one of the robot enemies is literally just... Okay, why can't I... Why can't I hit you? I'm trying to lock onto you. That was really strange. Uh, it's just a F1 style planes. F1. F1 is not correct. That's not what I meant to say. More like F22, something like that. This isn't cars racing. Anyway, there we go. Get up here. Perhaps we can get this. Yeah! 
That's just a little health pack. Uh, you can only get that item from balloons. Uh, well, actually, I, no, I don't think that's true. What I meant to say was you can you can only get it, please. You can only get it when playing as uh, Tail Dragman because they're the only ones who have health uh, in the traditional sets. Um, Sonic Shadow, Rouge, and Knuckles each um, don't have health. They instead have just rings. As you saw there, I flipped that switch. What that did was stop those uh, black slabs from falling down onto me. By the way, in case you can't tell, this is one of my worst tail levels. Uh, I'm not very good at playing as Tails or Eggman because, I don't know, I'm just reckless. I'm just like flying through and a more cautious approach might be uh, more useful, but that's okay. But anyway, those, are, those packs of dynamite, as you've seen, they, I mean, they serve as you know, means of getting higher scores because you can lock on to them. That's always appreciated. Uh, they will make more appearances as well. Anyway, then we've got a caged phoenix. Pretty sad, but that's all right. Here, we're going to fly again to show you guys the crazy shortcuts you can take. Some speed running if you're interested. There we go. We made it all the way over here. Hurry! Before the street literally falls apart. Also, again, we're, like, we're on street... I always get hit by those. I was even expecting them this time. I just suck. It's okay. Uh, what kind of streets are these? Like, wh why Why does this highway here swivel? Why does that happen? And also, you know, obviously these are based on real roads. There are actually roads. There are cars. And you can see there's cops here, but... The road is just incomplete. It's not drivable. It's crazy. Something's gonna fall on us. We gotta hurry. Let's get some locking on going on here. Sometimes you'll see me ignoring that and just fire at will just as much as I want to and just ignore everything. Wow, that took over four minutes. It honestly felt much quicker than that. It's because I just have so many things to say. This is so great. Anyway, uh, pretty much half of the moon is gone, and this is really serious. This would actually be more serious in real life, but it's still pretty serious in this game. Well, I guess we're going to interrupt the very serious part of the story to bring you a, I guess, at least slightly less important uh, Knuckles mission. And uh, that's actually one thing I, I would I would acknowledge to be, you know, a pretty sound criticism of the story in this game. Uh, there's... Knuckles mission just isn't as important. I mean, in the same way it wasn't in Sonic Adventure DX, but here, where the fate of the world is at stake, should you really be looking for the piece of the Master Emerald? I know it's one of the most important things in your life, but if you don't have a life, is it really worth it? Anyway, the gimmick of this level, Aquatic Mine, is that we have three levels of water. Right now, the water level is set to one, which means the whole room is pretty much filled up. If you hit this switch back here, level two, then it goes down one level. And as you can see, we go down a little bit. Now, different areas are accessible. Now, really, there's no huge reason not to have it set to level 3 at all times, which pretty much gives you all access to the entire place with very little water uh, in your way. To access level 3, the level 3 switch, you have to have level 1 activated so you can climb up here. Oh. Climb up this. Oh. And actually, here we've got one of these uh, altars. You can play the Mystic Melody. I'll just pl I, I won't explore, but I'll just show you. Uh, if you play the Mystic Melody, it opens up this door that you couldn't open up otherwise. Hey, where'd it go? I just saw the Master Emerald here. It must be moving around. Where'd you go? Did you guys see that during the cutscene? I know I saw it. Okay, this is going to drive me mad. Is it in here? Hey. Yeah! It, I guess when we were standing over there, it somehow revealed itself. That's pretty cool. Okay, wasn't expecting that, but... Here's the level 3 switch. That's good. Now, before we actually continue, uh, we're going to get ourselves an optional upgrade. Like I told you guys before, there are pretty much, uh, uh, there's pretty much an upgrade, optional, whether optional or not, in each main stage. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is where we need to go to get it. There's two that look very similar. Get down there! 
Hey, <laughs> stop. Honestly. Now this one, it, it can be kind of tough. Uh, it requires you to be underwater for a significant period of time. Oops. Uh, you just got to be quick about it. And just, uh, if you hold the B button, you'll walk. Uh, it, it basically forces you downward. Down further, further, further. I can't see. Once you start hearing the epic music, you gotta be nervous. Once you start seeing a countdown, then hold A to get out. No! Go! I know there's no real danger. We get the air necklace, one of the most useful, but technically optional, fully optional upgrades in the game. The air necklace basically just allows you to breathe underwater indefinitely with no concerns. It's honestly pretty overpowered and you'll see why a little bit later on. It really helps in terms of completion of the story mode. And uh, yeah, of course, you know, you have to almost kill yourself to go get it, but it's most certainly worth it. It's not required at all. I don't think there's, I don't think there's a single emblem that requires you to have this to get it. I mean, sure, it's easier if you have it, but you definitely don't need it. Anyway, time to carry on with the rest of the mission. Uh, one thing you'll notice about Knuckles is that as we proceed, his body is going to be just, you know, so modified. He's going to look like half an android uh, with all the pieces we get for him, so just keep that in mind. Is it down low? I didn't think so. Yeah, it's just green pretty much everywhere we go. Oh, yellow. Is it in you? Yeah, there it is. Just one more now. Yeah, I'm glad that only took one try. Sometimes uh, you can really screw yourself down there. It, and I hate that music. That The music, the running out of breath music. Oh, it's scary. <laughs> it's honestly scary. I saw the yellow light over here. Over here somewhere. The one thing that's... Well, one thing that's cool about these treasure hunting stages is that pretty much each time you play, it's a pretty unique experience. It'll require you to interact with different parts of the level. It'll require you to maybe engage in different uh, puzzle solving activities. It's just, it's really cool in that it's so unique. Uh, I think we have to go in here, actually. I think it's behind this wall. But the thing that's unfortunate is that there are certain things that you just don't interact with, generally speaking, unless you happen to get an emerald that requires it. For example, let's see, let's go down one level actually before I move on, I just want to show something off. This thing, which I don't know what it is, it looks kind of like a fireplace, you can punch it and it opens up. That's something you would have no reason to know unless you were either exploring or you happened to think that there was a master, master emerald piece in there. So, it's interesting. Anyway, I'm sure it's in here. This is another area, similar to that water area, in that we have to go downward to get it. Do you have it? probably in the middle of these skulls somewhere. Sometimes you have to find the exact spot they want you to find. Where could you be? Oh, maybe where the fourth one would be if there was one. Let's uh, try this. Yeah, there it was, with the fourth skull. I don't like the idea of taking a Master Emerald piece out of a skull. And by the way, you have to kind of suspend your belief a little bit when you're playing this game, because how on earth would the piece of the Master Emerald end up in this mine underground? It just makes no sense, but... Anyway, carrying on. Also, we only we only got a D rank because we spent so much time getting the air necklace. Sheesh. There always seems to be a lot of police around when you don't need them. Tails, any news yet? For some reason, I'm not getting a signal from the six remaining Chaos Emeralds. Maybe Eggman took the emeralds into outer space. Hey guys, long time no see. I must have got lost in the mines. Looking for the Master Emerald pieces was tougher than I thought it would be. Where are we anyway? Hey, where are you going? Move aside, Knuckles. I managed to find the transcripts between Eggman and the President in the government computer. I'm following the President's limo right now. If we get into the limo, we can trace the call to find Eggman. Okay, let's meet up there. Hey! Wait for me, Tails!
All right, we've technically got another Tails mission, although this is a very unique one. And this is the only one of its kind for Tails. Uh, a driving mission. We've got our plane, which we could use as a plane, but why would we do that when we could use it as a car? Now, it, it's pretty simple to control. Uh, you know, you got your gas, then you got your brake, um, you got your e-brake, I presume. I actually don't know. I never step on the brake. Uh, all I do, the only control I really use, aside from the Y button right there to boost, which is great, uh, is double tap the gas in order to uh, initiate this drift. This is what happens when you're not drifting. Oh, sorry, I tried to make it work. This is what happens when you're not drifting. You're, uh, you have more grip, but you're pretty much, uh, the word I'm looking for, very rigid, and you won't be able to get around really tight corners. Whereas if you're drifting like this, you can make it around really tight corners. Now, I'm not going to go ahead and discuss it right now, but this driving mission is home to some of the most aggravating emblems to obtain in the game. And, uh, I don't know, I might discuss that eventually. Right now, I'm not terribly concerned about doing it. Uh, pretty much every 90 rings you get, you'll get, uh, I don't know, I mean, not every 90. Every 20 or 15 or something, I barely keep track. You'll get a power boost like this. And, uh, that's why rings are your friends in this mission. Yeah, it is, it is fun to drive. Honestly, it's also fun to see these like crazy roads. Sometimes there's mul there's multiple lanes. Sometimes they turn into one lane. You've got jumps. You've got holes <laughs> in the walls. Like, what is going on? But pretty much you've got two of these checkpoints. Hey, how on earth are you faster than me right now? No, I'm not going to accept that. Come here, you... I don't know what you are. Honda CRV <laughs> ripoff. Wow, he is just blasting. Someone needs to arrest this guy, honestly. But anyway, as we've seen... Us, well, actually, first first observation, this is the first time Knuckles in this entire story has interacted with anyone except for the bad guys. Um, of course, he's not helping us out in this main mission. Sonic and Tails are doing all the legwork, but what are you going to do? That's, that's Knuckles for you. By the way, I just want to say, we're technically timed, but it's really not a concern as long as you're on the gas pretty much the whole time. If you hit a wall too hard, you can spin out, but I'm not concerned. Let's just keep going and keep getting rings. And find the president, because that's what we do. Uh, but we have one Chaos Emerald. This is the observation we need to make. We have one Chaos Emerald. Oh, shoot. I tried to get that balloon. I failed. And it sounds like Eggman and the others have the other six, which is really not good. That's a huge majority. But anyway, guys, the mission's pretty much over. Here's the president's limo right here in front of us. Uh, I really enjoyed this one. It seemed to go by too quickly. In fact, I might have to record another video right after this just to get my fix, my YouTube fix. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and stay tuned because the story gets much more serious, which I know, which I know is exactly what you guys want out of a Sonic game. Have a great day.